Right, look at these beauties. Today I'm going to do a video on preparing these pigeons. I mean, I had a video on YouTube, I put music on it, and obviously YouTube banned it. You know, I was having, you know, nearly 5,000 hits, so I thought I'd better do it again for you. And all we're going to do, we're going to prepare these, some of them different ways. These lovely pigeons shot yesterday. What we're going to do, simple, take a handful of the feathers off the breast till you expose those beautiful plump breasts. Ooh, matron. There's several ways you can do this. You can leave the skin on, which I'm going to do a few skin on, and then I'm going to do some with some skin off. So what we're going to do, get the feathers off by knife, a bowl of water by me, and feathers off the end. Just cut down by the leg. That breastbone there. Just follow it all the way down till you come to the wing joints. You're left with those. Skin on. Beautiful. Wipe my hands a minute. Just do that other one. Just following that bone, nice and simple. To that joint. There's another one, skin on. I mean, we'll wash all these feathers off after. I'm just going to show you some different ways. Right, let's do some with the skin off. So again, exposing those breasts. Rip it all off. Rid of those feathers. Dogs having a field day. Just lift up a bit of the skin, nick the skin with your knife, and then just peel it back all the way. So simple this. Such a good meat to cook with as well. Apart from the feathers on your hands, same principle. Down, following that bone. All the way through. Just one. Push that knife blade. You always have a bowl of water by you actually because you know you get feathers all over your hands. You end up with more on your hands than on the bird. Just peel that off. Your left. those two. Right, I'm just going to show that close up then. So, take those feathers off. Better to do these actually, as soon as they've been shot, they uh, they pluck a lot better. Take the knife. There's that breastbone there. So, down the one side of him. Some lead shot there. All the way down that carcass. Have a look at that. Bit on the elderberries. What a great combo. I don't know what I'm going to cook these with. Pigeon and elderberries. So there's one. The other side. You can see I don't want to get in the way. All the way down. And just pull it away. And there are those two beautiful breasts. Just want to show you what's in that crop. Have a look at that. Gorging on elderberries. Fantastic. this next one 
we are going to pluck him. So you have to bear with me. Might be a bit messy. So starting from the tail, ripping up to the head. It comes off so easy. It's one of the easiest birds to pluck this is. As you can see. I mean you want to be putting the feathers in the bin but obviously I'm doing this for the camera so before you know it on the legs pull them down towards the feet lovely these this time of year tail feathers out See that within a matter of minutes, it's already starting to look good. So what I'm going to do, take his head off, just take it to that first wing tip. And go through. Move that feather so you can see. Turn it over. Just do the back. Well caught. Then the other side. Through that wing. As you can see it don't take long. there is one pitch nearly done so we're just gonna finely tune that now through those legs snap it twist it around and pull to get the sinews out so nick it the tendons turn it round that's that there's the one plucked ready to gut right then I'm just going to pluck this one and see how quick I can do it in I'm just going to set my watch let's have a go Talk amongst yourselves, sing a little tune. Pull all them plugs out. Right, he ain't looking too bad, is he? Give him the Hollywood treatment. Smooth as supermodel's face. looking somewhat plucked excellent well that took two minutes 
Tip top. Right, I'm going to gut this now. I'll come around the other side so I can show you. What you do, put your knife in. Just by the breast. Make a little hole. Two fingers in there. Right to the back. Right under the heart. And then, what you do, just pull it out. Lovely. There's its little heart, little livers, and the gizzard. So, I mean, you can use those hearts and livers, put them on a, a skewer, it'd be lovely. So you can just see in there, get your hands right in, get any remaining out the lungs, turn it over, check there's got your windpipe out. Yeah, we'll give that a swell out, then we'll do the other. Okay, then let's rock. Let's under that breast again. Suppose them guts. Fingers in. You can feel the heart. Get your hands right under the heart. As you can see, and it all comes out. Pull it right out. There you have it. Your lungs out. Beautiful. Right there, you can see them. Those breasts, if you turn them over, that little nugget there, pull them off. That's all right. That's one. Turn the top off a sec. Because if you leave those on, when you cook them, they'll shrink up. So we're just going over them now, making sure they're all right. Then I'm just going to swivel the knees off. Now what I'm going to do with that one, is because really I only want the breasts. Go down there, go down there. Straight through. You're left with a lovely pigeon crown there. And because that one's a little bit smaller, I'm not going to mess about. Straight down that breastbone. those breasts off. Well, there's my ways of doing pigeon. I've just done them six pigeon. I hope you've enjoyed that. Some of the skin on. Some breasts with the skin off. You've seen them being plucked. You've seen them being drawn. And there's me crown. Well folks, I think you'll agree, they look amazing, don't they? Lovely, plump, fresh pigeon breasts and a wasp. Get off. And that lovely pigeon crown. Right, I'm off blackberry picking now, and I'm also going to get me some of those elderberries as well. I'm inspired about what was in that crop. I'm going to come back, figure out a dish, and get it on the channel. Anyway, thanks for watching.